this is the straw rocket kit. In your kit, you will have the template for the straw rocket, instructions for how to make the straw rocket, the straw for your rocket, a pencil to make your rocket with, and if you want, you don't have to fill this out, a data log if you want to make more than one rocket and mess around with it and see if you can try and make it work better or fly better. And it also has a graph on the other side so that you can see, ah, if I make this variable change, maybe the length that it flies will be different, so on and so forth. So that will be in the kit waiting for you. But you will still need tape, scissors to cut the rocket out, tape to assemble it, and a measuring stick, which I forgot to grab. So, this is how you make the straw rocket. Take your pencil, well, after you've cut out your pieces, take your pencil and use this long rectangle. Circle it around lengthwise. Since the pencil is approximately the same size as the straw, that means that it will fly, roughly speaking, or at least it'll fit on and serve as a decent template. Make sure that it's tight and that air can't come out. This way it'll fly better. You do that for most of it, but when you reach the tip, you are going to want to kind of crumple it into a cone. This is called a nose cone, and this is what lets the rocket, any rocket, fly through the air as opposed to just kind of landing somewhere. It makes it aerodynamic, which means it flies through the air better. It kind of cuts through the air. And tape that shut and tape it over because this is the part that you do not want. Definitely, absolutely do not want air coming out of. Now, if you are measuring, I see where my cone, my nose cone started. So I think it started tapering around here, and my nose cone is about one and a quarter inches. Then, the other thing that I need to do in order to make the rocket is tape on these two fin pieces. So I'm going to tape them on pretty carefully, but I also don't want the fins, the end of the fin, to cover, yeah, to come beneath the bottom of the rocket. So this is bad, this is good. If you wanna bring it closer to the end of the rocket, you can. I don't know what effect that'll have, but that's what science is about, yeah? So I am doing that. And I think my nose cone, yeah, I think my fins are gonna be messed up, but we'll see. Then, after you've done that, the instructions are gonna call it making it a fin sandwich because they're right on top of each other. You're going to twist the fins and ideally they will all be at right angles with each other. So you're kind of making a star out of them. So fold them and point them outwards and see what you get. And now that you've got all that, twist your pencil out and stick your straw in and it fits just right and from here I can blow my rocket so let's see how far mine goes well you won't be able to see but I'll take a picture of where it lands and show you okay so my straw rocket went all the way over there. That is quite a distance and I wish that I knew off the top of my head how far these tiles were apart from each other because I could use that to measure but unfortunately I don't. And that is what the measuring stick or measuring tape would have been for. So have fun and a good time and learn something.